Ever since I first read D. M. Turner's excellent Essential Psychedelic Guide and saw his glowing reports on the combination of ketamine and bees, 2CB, I have had quite a hankering to try an entheogenic cocktail of that variety. Bees have been plentiful lately, but ketamine is as hard as ever to come by for me. Recently I had an interesting idea, since DXM is relatively close chemically and experientially to K, as well as being cheap, legal, and easy to acquire. Why not use it as a substitute in the combo? So the other night I took 300 mgs of DXM in the form of Drixoral cough liqua caps, a preparation that contains no other unwanted active ingredients like acetaminophen, guafinicin, or pseudoephedrine and has the added advantage of being low on sugars and syrups that can cause gatsrich distress in large doses. This dose of DXM alone would not be sufficient to evoke a fully dissociative episode for me, but I decided to err on the side of caution as I usually do when trying a new mix. After an hour or so, I began to feel the euphoria that is my first alert with this particular material and took 20 mgs of bees. I was chatting on IRC at the time and within 20 minutes typing became much too complicated to deal with, so I lay down and relaxed into the trip. There were some uncomfortable somatic symptoms at first, such as a feeling of physical heaviness similar to that induced by alcohol, minor stomach upset, and hot flashes, which had me a little worried until I took my temperature and found it to be normal. Fortunately, these passed quickly as my consciousness dissociated from my body. I began to feel as if my soul was a soaring kite that was connected to my physical form by only the thinnest ethereal guide rope. Then my physical awareness seemingly vanished, and I found myself in a state that was nearly identical to the experience of ketamine that I had on the two occasions I was lucky enough to acquire some. I felt that I reverted back to the ground of being, the original indifferentiated oneness, the primal monad. Everything was perfect, all was one, and it was me. Then something fantastic happened. I felt as though I was given an opportunity to experience the original creation process that produced the material universe. I saw, felt, perceived the monad make love to itself and give birth to what we know as the manifest cosmos. I was the monad making love and giving birth, and it felt incredible, like multiple orgasms of universal proportions. This was a very meaningful episode for me, because it seemed to afford a pointed insight into one of the main philosophical questions I've been thinking about for quite some time. The question was. Why did the monad split in the first place? Why disturb that original pristine oneness at all? As I shivered and shook with the pleasure of the birthing process, the answer seemed very clear. Simply for the joy of the doing, not because of any kind of expected result. The universe is a work in progress, not a finished product, and it is the process of creation that is most important. That episode lasted maybe half an hour or so, and then I began to gradually regain my physical consciousness. I spent the rest of the trip in a lovely state that I can only describe in terms of post-coital glow on a cosmic scale accompanied by the lovely visuals that are characteristic of the bees. Near the end of the experience, I had the opportunity to smoke some salvia, and had the feeling of communing with the spirit of the plant. It felt great, very warm and comforting. Ska Maria definitely likes the bees, and she seems to like me too. I slept about four hours and awoke the next morning feeling reborn and refreshed enjoying a quite delightful afterglow that lasted the entire day. I recommend the combination of bees and dissociatives highly, and will most definitely be doing further exploration along these lines in the future when the opportunity presents itself.